What's good YouTube? I'm Robert with the Crosscut Creations channel. Today we've got a shop update because March is already practically over and I've got a lot to get through in this shop update. I'm going to talk about what I have going on in the shop currently, what kind of current projects I have. I've got a ton of stickers I need to get through. We have some unboxing because we got some mail. We're going to draw for the Maker's Rock album art giveaway. So I'm going to give this away. I'm going to draw the winner for that. And then I'm going to do my shout out at the end. So let's go. So in terms of current projects, the other day I turned a couple pens, so that was a, a, a first in a while for me. I had taken a little break from the lathe because I was working on other stuff, but it was good to get back on the lathe. I really enjoyed it. I worked with a new type of wood and it was good to just get back on the lathe and turn a couple Wall Street 2 style pens. I've also been working on a few cornhole boards because I've been asked about those a little bit. And uh, I've also been doing some shop update some shop cleaning some spring cleaning i've been working on some of that uh, i also got my pressure pot set up for casting thank you jason rose so i've been doing the first test uh, I, I i've been working on the the testing to make sure it holds pressure i actually it's actually right over here right now uh, undergoing its first pressure test to see uh, to see if it's going to hold pressure and to see where I need to fix leaks and things like that. So that's super exciting as well. So those are the things I've kind of been working on. That's what I've been working on. So let's head over to the table saw. We'll do some stickers. We'll do mail call. We'll give away a piece of album artwork and we'll do a shout out. Let's head over. Here we are over at the table saw. Uh, as you can see, I have a ton of stickers here. Some of these were from sticker swaps that we did through the mail. Some of these sticker swaps uh, I did at, there was a Lincoln Electric event at the beginning of March where a bunch of big time YouTube content creators got together and they, they had a meetup one of the nights. I was able to go to that and I traded stickers with quite a few of them and it was an unbelievable experience to meet some of these people. If you want to check out those people, I will, I will mention their stickers, but if you want to check out who I got to hang out and meet with, make sure you check out my Instagram. It's Crosscut Creations. It'll be in the description. So if you want to check out that event and those pictures, those, will be, those, are, those are already there. Let's get into the stickers. We have Lumberjacked Wood Design. We have Pen Turning Mafia, that's Jason Rose. Oddball Crafts and Creations. Bear Creek Woodworking, thank you Carl. Wild Man Tech, thank you Marsh. We have Makers Media Network. We also have Harneal Media, thank you Steve. Two more. Know what mom knows, Shelly Cole. Thank you. And her husband, Shane's Hobby Shop. Thank you, Shane. Now, those were the ones I got in the mail. The stickers that I got from the event in Cleveland were the following. It's not a sticker, but it's still pretty cool. We have Jimmy DeResta. We have Made for Profit. We have John Malecki and Brad Rodriguez. Excellent podcast, check them out. Douglas from Retro Weld, thank you. We have Skull and Spade. This is Brett McAfee. Gib Clark, thank you. Andrew Setters, thank you. John Malecki, thank you. 
fix this, build that, Brad Rodriguez. Thank you. Another Skull and Spade Brett McAfee sticker. Prusa Woodworks. Do Right Fabrication. And last but not least, Laura Kampf. Laura Kampf was there. All these other makers were there. Uh, April Wilkerson was there. There were also a, no a number of other makers there that were just incredible to talk to and hang out with. I've never spent any time with any of these people, but it was an unbelievable event to get to know them. Uh, I watched a bunch of these these people's videos for a long time and get to get to meet them. It was it was honestly incredible. Uh, I also got to meet Izzy Swan, um, among others. So that was super, super awesome. These people are incredible. And for any of you who were uh, following along with April Wilkerson's shop build series, since she's building her new shop, and some of you that were following along, if, if you're following along with Laura Kampf's tiny house build, there was a lady there. I don't, I don't know if she was related to either one of them or, um, or how, how she wasn't, how, how she was related to either one of them, or if she was just a friend or whatever. Um, but she figured out how many times Laura's tiny house would fit in April's new shop. And the tiny house, if I remember correctly, was going to fit in April's new shop 33 times. So that's just crazy incredible. So thank you to all who have sent stickers. Thank you to all who have swapped stickers. I truly appreciate it. That just pushes me further and further to need to get a, a sticker board together. I don't know if I'm just gonna throw a piece of plywood together or you know, do, do something, but I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. Now that we have the stickers done, I wanna get to the unboxing mail call. Now, I will tell you, this box, I know I ordered it. Oh, without further ado, I'm super excited to open this. Let's let's get this package open. This package is from Fred and Tina Wisson over at P Town Subby. I mentioned a little bit ago that I was testing my pressure pot for holding pressure, didn't I? I, I'm pretty sure they're related. So, paper, paper. An invoice and it says, Oh, the mold release shipped separately. Hi, Robert, as a thank you, we added a few extra casting supplies. Enjoy. I love working with these people. I love working with small business um, because they're so personal. They handwrite notes. They, they're just incredible. So right off the bat, we have some Caster's Choice mica powders. We also have more Caster's Choice mica powders to add color to the resin. We have a block mold, a silicone block mold, so I'll pour resin into here and I will be able to make pen blanks on my own now, or of my own, so that'll be super awesome. They also added another mold, and this is the Sierra tube in mold thank you and these are the plugs for them thank thank you guys this that was that was incredible and unexpected and huh here's a bolt action and a sierra i'm guessing these might be roll uh label casting jigs i'll have to i'll have to check that out and then this one here, let's see. Let's 
see if I can get this one open. There we go. ptownsubby.com. I'll add that to the list. Business card. And in this box, we have a mold rack. It's not put together yet, so I'll go ahead and do that off camera after we unbox the rest of this. And I'll show you what that looks like once I get it put together. Before I do that, we'll open this. This is the, if I actually, I, I do remember what this is now that now that it, uh, the note said it shipped separately. This is going to be, um, this is going to be mold release. Yep, and there it is. There is the mold release. So I am, I am super excited to get on this journey to get started. Um, I, I can't wait to see where this takes me and I, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. So let, let me go ahead, I'll, I'll pause the video. Let me set up this, this mold rack and I'll give you a look at what it looks like in just a minute after I get this put together. Okay, we're back here with the mold rack system. This is fantastic. It went together super easily. All it was was two screws here, two screws here, two screws here, and then one, one, and one screw each. So what happens is, the way this works is there's three sides that are, are kind of flattened out. So this side has a little flat spot, this side has a flat spot, and this side has a flat spot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slide these into the spaces and there we go. So I'm gonna do that for the other two. Make sure I have this oriented correctly. There goes the other one and the third one. So now I'm able to put three, no, four, four different levels of molds on here if I wanna do batch casting. So this is gonna be super valuable. Obviously I haven't used it yet so I can't review it, but I know a lot of people who have gotten this particular setup, they love it. I can't wait to use mine. So again, the mold racks, the mica powders, the dyes from Caster's Choice, the molds, the release. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I, I greatly appreciate it and I, I can't wait to start casting. All right, guys, we're on my YouTube channel, so I'm gonna click on the Maker's Rock build video. I'll go ahead and pause that. I have currently, it says 73 comments right here. I'm guessing half of those are mine because I do reply to all my comments. So if you leave a comment on a video, I will get to it. I will respond. Uh, so there is an incentive for you guys to comment. I have all of these comments here as it loads. So one of these lucky people, which could be you if you're watching and if you commented on this video, are gonna win the album artwork Brigade by Heart. So let's go ahead and copy this link. I've got too many tabs open. Let's go to a YouTube comment generator. It says enter YouTube URL. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, among unique commenters, 35. So start raffle and pick a random winner. Who will it be? The winner is Waylight Creations. Ryan. Ryan Bitters of Waylight Creations. Also from my home state of Ohio. You are the winner, buddy. So we'll get in touch we'll figure out how to get it to you and you've won yourself some album artwork 
I want to thank all of the makers who helped in the collaboration and participation of Makers Rock 2018. There were over 30 of us who created album artwork. Uh, there is a playlist that exists. I'll try to link that down in the description below. So thank you all for participating in the creation of the album artwork. Also, thank you to all of you who have checked out our album artwork, commented on our videos, interacted with us. We appreciate it as creators so much. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I know you. I've said that a ton this video, but again, thank you. Today's shout out goes to Fred and Tina Wisson over at P-Town Subby. They are absolutely fantastic to work with. They are the people who I ordered my casting supplies from to get started. They're super personable. I talked with Fred on the phone for, it, it was at least 15 or 20 minutes, I believe. He was, he, you know, he willingly answered all my questions and he really helped me through my first purchase. And I, I thank them a ton for that because that, that means a lot as a, as a customer and a consumer of, of these products. Um, it, it just, it makes me feel better about, about purchasing a product like that. So thank you guys. You guys really went the extra mile and I, I couldn't be happier with, with my first purchase, which definitely won't be my last. I want to take a second to wish all my fellow baseball fans a happy new year as it's opening day. I am super excited for the season. My hometown Cleveland Indians, I, I can't wait to see what they do this year. We have a full squad that I'm, I'm hoping really gels and, and really comes together. I'm, I'm super excited to see how, how the season plays out. Um, I just, it, it's, it's the greatest time of year. So again, happy new year to all my fellow baseball fans. Additionally, I have, I want to remind you guys that I have my website down. Uh, it'll be down in the description cross-cut-creations.com. You'll be able to find a small gallery there I'm still working on. Uh, there's a shop with some merchandise in it. There's, uh, you can order uh, some handmade stuff. You can order some logo products. You can order a few other things. So if there's anything that suits your fancy, uh, you can order that. My YouTube videos are also there. Uh, among a few other things. So I'm, I'm still building the site, but it's, it's slowly getting there. Uh, also, I do have a Patreon page. So if you want to support me that way, you can do that. I'll link that in the description below. If you search Crosscut Creations, uh, it, it should pop up there, but I'll definitely have the link in the description. So, so again, no pressure, but if you guys want to support me that way, that's absolutely appreciated. This shop update had a ton in it. I know it ran a little long, but there was a lot of necessary information in here that I wanted to get out to you guys. This one was a lot of fun as always. Make sure you hit the thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell for the notifications so you don't miss a video when I release a video. Make sure you comment. I do reply to all my comments. Make sure you share the video with your friends. We'll see you next time.